Wait a moment, before we go any farther, there's something I must ask you. What is it? How did you manage to get into my chamber back at the castle? And why did you just shove an apple pie in my face as soon as you showed up? Well, it was pretty difficult to get past your guards. Until someone helped us set off a little weakness in those guards. If you know what I mean. You got past guards because you had a pie? <sighs> we need more rigorous hiring process. We need a more rigorous hiring process, you mean. Good. Okay. The Nap Dragon. So the Nap Dragon is a nest on Mount Snow Peak. If we go northeast from here, we'll find a paladin camp at the base of the mountain. It's just beyond the camp. Think you're ready? Let's do it. I can't wait to see the mountain where the Nap Dragon lives. The mountain is tall and view is gorgeous, but the monsters can be a handful, so let's be careful. Got it! To the Nap Dragon! I think I know how to get the Snow Peak. I've been, like, grinding. Oh, uh, he. What? Who are you? Oh, wow. No, no. The Nat Dragon is kind to all. You silly gypsy. Hello, Jeeves. Nat Dragon seems to have disappeared from the grass plains. Be very, very careful. I will. Because I have Nat Dragon skin on. What? Bro, Nat Dragon skin is tough. Too tough. I think I'm level 16. Let me do it. A sand zerd or a sand desert? Give me this. Should I? I yeah, I'll save it. I got the beast in my sight. Mount Snoopy. Holy Kanash. This music, though, it's epic. The Nap Dragon is often seen atop the summit. Unfortunately, the summit is blocked off. It's a way to keep people from disturbing the dra dragon. So, how do we get up there? Well, Mount Snoopy is a, how should I say this, custodian of sorts. Why does a mountain have a janitor? No, it's someone who takes care of things up here. He's called an indubitable crowned champion. He's a bit eccentric, just in case you hadn't already figured that out from his name. He's a big softy. I think he'll help us. Let's go! We're on the lookout for a little house with a red root just beyond the waterfall. I'm on my way! What the hell is this thing? I just killed an innocent chicken. Pine nuts? What the heck am I fighting now? Is that a bouffalant? <laughs> a buffalo! Come here! Mm. Oh! Up it! What a good job! confirm my strength. Oop. That way I can punch. I punch real hard. Who's that hiding over there? So this little guy knows where the great and doodle crown champion is? He sure does, don't you, Grandpa Gladstone? Question isn't what I don't I dear granddaughter, but rather what I why? What is it I do I anyway? Can you remind me? Wait a second, this little bouncing beard is the indubitable crown champion, custodian of the Mount Snow Peak, and all that? I think eccentric is an understatement. Is he naked under that beard? I'm sorry, did you say something by little talker to follow up with a fellow insect friend? Uh, no, I was just wondering. I was just saying it is an honor to meet you, Mr. Indubitable Sir. You're lucky my granddaughter is with you. I got a glass case full of sassy Ken. I meant no disrespect, sir. I was just wondering if your legs were cold under the beard, is all. Sorry, I forgot to warn you. Grandpa has a very good hearing and a severe aversion to love coverings. I've lived every life there is to live. I'll wear whatever I want to wear or not wear. Your friends sound like your mother, sweet Laura. No, of course, sir. You can wear whatever you want. I mean, I'm not wearing any pants either. Ha! <laughs> hey, Grandpa, I have a favor to ask. I need the key to the mountain summit. Oh, it warms my heart to see a lesser adventure in those eyes, sweet dear granddaughter. But it should be open. One of your father's men came by and just very haughtily demanded the key. I was too busy weaving a basket out of heel weed and spit to argue with him, so I let him borrow. 
It was Hughes, wasn't it? That slime ball? Hughes the slime ball? Yeah, that sounds familiar. He wouldn't stop babbling until I accidentally hocked a loogie on his boot. Fairly left then. Grandpa, that's disgusting. Oh, you must forgive me. I am but an old fogey and I not know what I do. Oh, I don't even know if I can find that key now. Where is it? Oh, my memory is gone. Who are you? Very funny, Grandpa. Can I have the key? Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew I could count on you, Grandpa. Thank you. I need to get to the net drink before Hughes does. Well, good luck to you, dear Laura. I'm sure you're well and you don't mind your world. I think I should tell you before you go, though. We are entering a time of great peril. I think we may already be there. I've seen it foretold in the movements of Lunaris. So make sure you get to back home before dark. We'll see about that, Grandpa. Thanks again. I'll be alright. I've got good friends protecting me. I can see that. One good wise inside, the other chatty thick and very pretty, I must say. Just thank you. Hee! <laughs> There's a small cabin up the ways on the mountain. It's royal property. Feel free to rest there if you need to. Dear sweet child, you remember my words. Because I don't... What was I talking about? No matter. It will come back to me. Or if it doesn't, then I won't. Be gone and come again. Huh? What a fruit of the loop. Wow! Weapons! Yeah, he's tiny. He's a little man. And he like a little man. What? Oh my gosh, a bounty. A buffalo! I got the beast in my sight. Come on, there, a lot of a rock serpent. What the heck is that? A jackal? Huh? Okay. I got the bounty. I'm a special. What? Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, take it. I have 24,000. Obtained a thick fang. Bum, 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 bum. A rock serpent! And a gush. What the hey hey is this? Hey, is that chick doing? A <coughs> mountain mushroom! Get off of me! Beef. I don't have the skill of the woodcutter yet. <coughs> Kashmir, is that what this thing's called? Stand down. This monument hereby commemorates the achievements of the Dual Crown Chamber. Green Shrive, although I master every life, I enjoy your life. Don't take it so seriously. Harvest mushrooms, pick puffs, and get the taste of each life. So the Dual Crown Champion, Gladstone, Gladstone the third. Well What the heck is this thing? Kill it with fire! I got a baboon! Alright, enough of this nonsense. It's Snapdragon time! Oh, hello. Goody, goody gumdrops. Oh boy! This is the door to the mountain summit. Grandpa always comes through when I need him. You can do the honors, Opie. Oh, this is so exciting. What an adventure! Good work. Are we ready for this? I was ready for such an encounter when I was but a babe in the swaddling clothes. Hee hee, let's do this! Let's get the Nob Dragon. What?
Whoa, everything is so white, I can hardly see. Wait, is this... is this snow? Are you telling me you've never even seen snow before, Butterfly? That's such a shame. I've heard so much about it, I can't believe I'm finally getting the chance to see. It's beautiful. But it's so cold. You're feeling all frozen inside, right? Don't worry, it makes the hot chocolate effort taste so good. I need the cabinet just said, let's see if slimy old Hughes is up there. Quickly, Opie. Opie is on the case. I can run real fast. I don't want to fall down. Where is smelly old Hughes? Wait a moment, do you hear that? It's Hughes, he's talking to those soldiers. I can't believe Father gave him permission to use a cab and he knows it's a sentimental place for me. And now Hughes, he's using his base of operations to his diabolical little scheme. Can you hear what he's talking about? I can't quite make it out. Violent beast, deadly fangs, makes a ferocious. Not dragon, kill him, be sure to smile. Sir. Unless they came up here searching for some sort of mumbling charge, this isn't good. What should we do? No point sneaking around, let's confront Hughes. Let's do it, let's beat him to, in a fight. For Royal Cabin. First we shall render the beast unconscious using my newly developed mermaid spray. Don't you dare lay a hand on that dragon, Hughes. Princess Law, why am I only su mildly surprised or majorly annoyed? Don't you patronize me, Hughes. What do you plan on doing with the Nat Dragon? Is this some sort of plot to usurp my father's throne? Princess Law, I can assure you that you need not bother yourself. You serve? Ah ha ha ha! What's so funny, Hughes? You don't think you don't think someone would catch on to your plan? If you want the power of the dragon, why else would you be concerned with it all of a sudden? Oh, Princess! Oh ha ha ho! When you use big words, little like you serve, it's just so. Ha 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 ha! Confess your nefarious machinations, Hughes. Ah ha ha! Nefarious! Oh, machinations! Oh, that's very good, Princess. <laughs> oh my, you first scared me. You must forgive me, I just about left up a lung there. <clears throat> you know, for your insults, Hughes, talk. Princess, you know I've been in the service of your father for quite some time now. I'm sorry, but you, you had the wrong idea. We're here to help the Nab Dragon. I'm making a pot of some <laughs> the fair serving imaginations. Help it? What do you mean? Why would the Nab Dragon need your help? Stop trying to confuse me, Hughes. Princess, it's the truth. We're here to calm the Nab Dragon with a sedative. Nonsense, I heard Hughes call it a ferocious beast. I heard him say kill. Yes, for Hughes, it's very clear that the Nab Dragon shouldn't be harmed. The effort may kill you, but the Nab Dragon is not to be harmed. And we replied, yes, sir, yes, sir. Actually, I may have mumbled that last part, but yeah, that's about it. I suppose that is why Father locked me inside my own bedroom. He knew I would try to stop him from getting to the Nab Dragon, Hughes. Yes, unfortunately, he wasn't very fond of my new princess leash. What? How could you suggest something like that? Desperate times call for desperate measures, princess. I can't have any meddling with my work. Just your being here jeopardizes our mission. Shh, overly self-important much? I can see that you still have no understanding of this, Princess. Your father locked you up to protect you. It was for your own good, and now you have put yourself in harm's way. What are you talking about? If you hadn't been underwatched by some clearly incompetent guards, you would have run straight into the jaws of the Nap Dragon Fury. Wait, so the rumors, they're true? They're not rumors, and yes, they're true. Doomstone has crashed into Mount Snopey. Oh dear, no. We're investigating the matter, but it appears that stones are not creating chaotic dangers. Animals filled with Doomstone's energy are acting increasingly aggressive. Now, can you imagine the energy of Doomstone adding a dragon's unbridled wrath to it? No, of course not, because all you see is a cute sleepy beast with eyelids at half mast. He is rather adorable. I mean, he is rather adorable, I must say. Princess, we are all aware of your fondness for the Night Dragon, but you must be aware of reality. You must accept the truth of what we are seeing happen all over Riveria right now. Your father took precautions to keep you safe by locking me in my chamber. Looks like we're on the wrong end of the assumption stick on this one. We're seeing a massive increase in Doomstones. This must be related to the Lunaris phenomenon. Lunaris phenomenon? Grandpa said something similar earlier. What is happening with Lunaris? Professor Hughes, we got trouble. The Nap Dragon is on a rampage. We can't hold him. Blast! Seem to let your interference has caused us. Oh no. <coughs> Princess, stop! Come back! I feel so sorry for our father. He's a good man. You too. Why don't you make yourself useful and stop before she gets fried to a royal crisp? C come on, Opie, you gotta stop Laura. Oh my gosh. I got to save her.